Besser Valley makes an era. And if you're thinking about an era, you're thinking about harmony. Harmony meets freshness, harmony meets the soil, and what we want to have in our life, harmony. That's exactly what we want to have in the bottle. My name is Stefan von Eiberg. So that it is, a, if you want, a German family, but the background is more from the Roman Empire of German nations. So we are in, uh, in normally much more in the politic way and in the armies in the old times. But we have a very important thing that uh, we are involved also in winemaking for more than 800 years. And each generation has to do the business. Each generation has to, to point it somewhere in the history, the way to go. Karl Hauptmann, he, he, uh, he invested in the first year, but for only making a blend wine, so he took some fruits here, some fruits here. And uh, then um, we decided to make something really special, a little bit by what we do in Bordeaux, that we take an area, a special area, and we're only producing with fruits of our area. And for this, you need a terroir. And if the soil is outstanding, you can make an outstanding wine. And here, then we, people make wine for three, three thousand and more years. So it's nothing new. It's much older than Bordeaux. In Besser Valley, we really uh, we took up the history of our area. What we're doing now is only we just bring it back, back to the future. If you're looking about the the terra here, you will find that we have a lot of chalk. Chalk for the outstanding wines in the world means freshness complexity, profoundness and fineness. So that means the pH is low, the acidity is high, and you make wines that are really very ripe, they have the power, but have the freshness. This is exactly if you can find it in Bordeaux, in the red, right bank, you can find it in Burgundy, for the Pinot. You need this to make something outstanding. We try to, to compose somewhere a blend. Uh, if it's a, it's a very high blend, the best one, we try to find out the best tanks and put it together. So we have a, a lot of different tastings to, to bring an end blend. So when we looking for the, for, the, for the vineyards just before the harvest and in the harvest, we have the information what we have to do and never to do always the same. We have to be adapted. It's a little bit like the artist. The artist that take different colors and different quality of colors and then put it together. And we do exactly the same. So we have to be, we have to need a really a big sensibility of the vintage and all the vintage are different. And in the end, when you then, you taste the wine and you say, oh, that's exactly what I thought. Or perhaps sometimes, oh, I'm surprising. It's much better than I thought. And for me, this is wonderful that you see in the end of the day, the creation, to bring this energy in the bottle. I think this is exactly what we want to do. And I think the, the consumer, if he opened the bottle and he, and he, uh, he approached the bottle, he, he take the bottle in the glass, he will find his energy.